Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Good morning, Rachel Kim. Thank you for joining me here on the Valder Beebe Show, live on KKVI FM Radio. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me today. I want my audience to know that Rachel Kim is a career strategist and coach at SoFi. And she wants to know, hmm, or she's going to tell us, Americans should get paid more. And this is Raise Week. I, I'm interested in that. Tell me about Raise Week. Yes. So we've learned that 50% of Americans, especially the younger professionals, are not negotiating their salary or asking for a raise. So we think there's a lot of money left in the table. And so we've created Raise Week, um, where we are empowering Americans with the information and tips and tools to really help them understand their value. And, and then if there's a gap, to help them communicate and raise it. OK. It says that U.S. companies are planning to boost pay in 2017 to around 3% on average. Mm -hmm. But the, the profits are enormous. I didn't understand that. Yeah, it's interesting. The 3% too, I mean, I think certain people say, well, at least it's something. But if you actually factor in inflation of 2.5%, that 3% raise only becomes a 0.5% raise. And just, that just that's not enough. It isn't. It really isn't. And to say companies are doing very, very well, that's what I'm basing it on. They've had record profits. The market has been up. And I don't know. We don't live in a, a, a time where you want to share your success with your employees, I guess, right? Well, I can't speak for the companies, but I can speak for what your viewers and listeners can do, which is take control of some of that. You know, there's factors beyond our control, but we can really empower ourselves with the knowledge of what we're worth, um, how to really understand it, and then how to take the hard steps to make others know of that as well. And then when you're ready to make the ask for a raise. Okay, you say ask for a raise. Do you need to know your market value? You do need to know your market value. And there are some great tools out there on salary.com, Glassdoor, some of those sites that helps you understand the average of, for what you could be making. Um, and then there are additional resources like raiseweek.com where you can get additional tips on how to make that ask and when to make the ask and how to pull that information together. Um, I also recommend, and we do on raiseweek.com, that you speak to trusted colleagues. So don't go just by the information that you find online. Speak to people offline because you're always going to get better information that way as well. Is there a correct way to ask, ask for a raise? You know, if you're getting ready to ask for a raise, I recommend that you do three things. First, prepare a couple of months in advance. Start documenting clear evidence of why you are going to be asking for one, right? So those moments that you've created success for the organization um, and you know, hopefully tied to some numbers like additional revenues brought in or additional client engagements you were able to secure. So make your case really clear. Secondly, make the number really clear. So with the market research you do on your value, you want to make the case for that number really clear. Um, and then finally, to practice your pitch. So have a pitch ready and practice it so that you can build confidence and, and, and be ready to go into it uh, knowing that you're worth it. OK. In advance of you, we put out some feeler questions. And I've got one I'd like to ask you. And this one says that. I work at a company where we provide um, technical support, and the company that we work for only renewed the contract because of my performance wow. as a manager. How do I turn that into value for the company I work for? 
Well, what a great question and a great scenario to be in, be in to start communicating that value you brought to that company. So it seems like this, uh, this viewer already has the evidence of the impact that they've made. Perhaps they can even get a testimonial from that client to really help raise the profile of that, uh, of that employee um, and then bring those things together in a conversation with their manager um, to start the conversation about asking for a raise. So I don't recommend that they make the ask right away, but to start, start you know, put, sowing the seeds and putting the foundation so that the manager knows that this ask is coming and that there's a clear case for it. Okay, so is there, uh, should you consider leaving your job if you don't get what you need at your current position because of your worth? Because you remember when they found out their worth now. Right. So um, I think, unfortunately, even if you do the hard work of preparing a really solid case and you get up the courage to make the ask, sometimes you will get a no. And sometimes you will get a no not here because, you know, there might be budget constraints or other things that you have no control over, in which case you might have to, you know, answer that hard question, should I leave? Um, and you can start doing some research of what other companies out there can really um, add your skills to their company and then be able to pay you what you're worth. You've come and brought great information. Thank you so much. I love people who have usable, actionable information. Where can my audience go online and find some more information for themselves? Your audience could go to raiseweek.com to find more tips and tools on how to understand, communicate, and claim your value. Rachel Kim, this was a very valuable conversation for me and my audience, and thank you very much for gracing the Valder BB Show. Oh, thank you so much, Valder.